What's up everyone, it's Donuts and today we're going to talk about the possible characters on the upcoming 1.2 limited banner. So the 1.2 livestream came out less than a week ago and featured two new 5 star characters. The first one was the Geo Sword user Albedo with his elevator tricks and big burst damage. I'm guessing he is a burst support role. And the second one was the Cryo Bow user Gan Yu who is Coco Goat Waifu material. She looks like she can be a main DPS role or a support DPS role. However, MiHoYo did not feature any new 4 star character gameplay. This sparks some questions. Are they not ready with the mechanics of the new 4 star character? Are they keeping the new 4 star character as a surprise for Christmas? Or are they simply going to rotate old 4 star characters back onto the limited banner. Let's take a look at the logical analysis of what 4 star characters can come out on the 1.2 banners. There was Venti with Fisho, Xiangling, Barbara, then Klee with Sucrose, Xingqiu and Noel. Then in 1.1, it was Tartaglia with the new Diona, Ningguang and Beidou. And currently, it is Zhongli with the new Xinyan, Chongyin and Razor. So my first theory is that 4 star characters who are on the 1.1 limited banners will not appear so soon on the 1.2 limited banners. Now let's take a look at the popularity and finances of 5 star characters. On the left, we have a Chinese revenue graph. I'm not sure if this is just for China or the rest of the world. But basically, it shows that Venti Banner made MiHoYo a lot of money, the Klee Banner made them an incredible amount of money, maybe because Klee is so cute and she's so powerful on floor 12 of the Spiral Abyss. And then Tartaglia was a little bit underperforming. And finally, we have Zhongli, which made about the same amount of money as the Venti Banner. I'm showing you these finances and money matters because when a company decides what to publish on the banners, it's not just about basic rules like, oh, you need one element of each type on the banner, no repeating elements. A lot of the decision making behind the scenes revolves around the top management, the CEO. It's about getting more revenue or meeting KPI and financial targets. Now we look at the polls that are circulating on the internet, already we know that Albedo is not going to be a very popular 5 star compared to Gan Yu. Many reasons for that, he's not as cute or waifu material as the Coco Goat, his spells don't look very impressive, and we just had an outrage from the community about the last Geo 5 star character, Zhong Li. So if I were MiHoYo and knew that Albedo banner is going to make me very little money, I need to make an incentive for players to pull on the Albedo banner. I need to put popular 4 star characters on the Albedo banner. Remember that we saw Sucrose featured heavily in the 1.2 livestream. Sucrose is the student of Albedo. She's a great animal support character that can group enemies up as well as buff the elemental mastery of your team to achieve bigger damage. Also, she came out in the 1.0 banners, so there's a chance that it's time for Sucrose to come back on the limited banner in 1.2. The other very popular 4 star character is Bennett. Just a C0 Bennett can carry his own half in floor 12 of the Spiral Abyss. He can heal your team and buff their attack to get those big big numbers as a support. And most importantly, he has never been on a limited banner before. So Sucrose and Bennett are my top two bets that will come out on the Albedo banner. The third slot for 4 star character is anybody's guess. My guess is that it is going to be a Cryo or Hydro character. Remember the new Cryo and Hydro artifact sets? The new Cryo set is going to be OP for Cryo DPS characters and could move Kea up into a top tier DPS character. So maybe Kea will be the third character that is coming out on the Albedo banner. 
it is a bit risky for miHoYo to put too many starter characters like Amber, Lisa and Kia in the 1.2 limited banners as they are a bit less popular and players may decide not to spend money to pull on starter characters on limited banners. So for the third slot in the Albedo banner, I'm guessing maybe Kea or maybe it's the very popular Hydro healer Barbara. Or maybe miHoYo just decides to surprise us and give us the new Cryo Poam user Rosaria in the Albedo banner. So who do you think is going to come out on the Albedo banner? Put your guess in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.